we hear you know upwards of ninety percent take rates of collision mitigation systems on active braking. But if you think about the, the other systems that start to step in that have steering controls, uh, with active braking, there's there's chances that a driver may never experience that, or if they do, it's very very rare. With active steering, you're starting to have you know interactions with the driver having uh, you know resistance on their steering wheel constantly. So it's one of those things where we're worked through a lot of education with you know drivers and fleets to train them on the benefits of the system. And then also, you know, through continuous product improvement, a, a number of areas that, that we want to lessen the, the impact of drivers, make the systems not quite so loud. We, we work on those kind of things, put switches on the dash for the areas where they absolutely have to turn them off. We, we make those kind of things available to them. So it's, it's a lot of adapting, you know, trying to get drivers to, you know, better understand the systems and, and find the benefits. Um, you know, something that I would say uh, about, you know, growing the the take rates um we we've gone a long way just in in just a few couple of years we've we've had it available to us we have a number of fleets um very similar you know we're on the large fleet side who say give me every safety system you have available to me and tell me how much it costs later and then we also have other people who have you know recognize some of the driver comfort features of these systems like uh you know regional day cab delivery things where the driving the truck mails almost be a secondary job for that driver where they're you know, getting from location to location and having to unload the truck and, and stock shelves, for instance. So making it, um, you know, the best use case for each you know, individual customer is a big thing.